prairie dogs. Some might say they're cute, others say they're pests. And right now in Boulder, some say they are causing a crisis. How to deal with prairie dogs has been a heated debate for years. Kelly Worthman live in Boulder. And Kelly, that city now considering allowing lethal action. Well, Jim and Karen, it's not uncommon to see prairie dogs in parks like this. Their burrows, like this one, are easily spotted all around the park. And while most people don't mind seeing the critters here, they're becoming a bit of a crisis in nearby farmland and open space. That's a prairie dog hole that's going right into my house. Robert O'Donnell has had enough of his unwanted guests. You're going to see all the prairie dog holes in my yard now. Dozens of prairie dog mounds popping up all over his three-acre property and neighboring land. It's a constant battle. Destroying vegetation livestock in the area depend on. There's nothing left, so if you were a cow, what would you eat? Boulder Open Space trustees say prairie dogs are taking over more than half of the irrigated grasslands on the city's north end. It is a crisis and why they're recommending the city take lethal action to control the population on ag properties. I see it as a glimmer of hope. Paula Schuler has long battled Boulder to do something about the prairie dogs. The city of Boulder has irrigated agricultural properties that per their own land objectives should not have prairie dogs on them. It's now her hope city officials will see non-lethal methods are no longer an option. The city of Boulder has only been able to relocate 700 prairie dogs in the last three years. There are tens of thousands of prairie dogs. Robert understands why some may be opposed to lethal force, but says this isn't simply about killing animals. I'm not an animal hater. It's about finding balance and protecting their homes just like anybody else. If you were to go home, Kelly, and you find a rat or a mouse or something like that, you're going to do the same thing, and that's what's happening here. So the Open Space and Mountain Parks Board of Trustees is going to present their prairie dog management recommendations to the City Council early next month. If you'd like to read those recommendations for yourself, we do have a link at CBSDenver.com. Reporting live in Boulder, Kelly Worthman covering Colorado First. Thanks, Kelly.